J. M. W. Turner Joseph Mallard William Turner was an English romantic landscape painter, watercolorist, and printmaker. Turner was considered a controversial figure in his day, but is now regarded as the artist who elevated landscape painting to an eminence rivaling history painting. Although renowned for his oil paintings, Turner is also one of the greatest masters of British watercolor landscape painting. He is commonly known as the painter of light, and as his work is regarded as a romantic preface to Impressionism. Turner was born on or around the 23rd of April of 1775 in the Maiden Lane, Covent Garner, London, England. His father, William Turner, was a barber and a wig maker. His mother, Mary Marshall, came from a family of butchers. A younger sister, Mary Ann Turner, was born in September of 1778, but died aged four in August of 1783. In 1785, as a result of a fit of illness in the family, the young Turner was sent to stay with his maternal uncle, Joseph Mallard William Marshall, in Brentford, which was then a small town west of London, on the banks of the River Thames. In this period, the earliest known artistic exercises by Turner is found, a series of simple colorings of engraved plates from Harry Bozell picturesque views of the antique antiquities of England and Wales. Around 1786, Turner was sent to Margate on the North East Kent coast. Here, Turner produced a series of early drawings of the town and surrounding area foreshadowing his later work. Turner will return to Margate many times later in later life. By this time, Turner's drawings were already being exhibited in his father's shop window and sold for a few shillings each. His father boasted to the artist Thomas Storham that my son, sir, is going to be a painter. In 1789, Turner again stayed with his uncle, who by this time had retired. A whole sketchbook of work from his time in Oxford survives, as well as an early watercolor of Oxford. The use of pencil sketches on location as a basis for later finished paintings would form the basis of Turner's essential working style for his whole career. Turner traveled widely in Europe, starting with France and Switzerland in 1802 and studying in the Louvre in Paris in the same year. As he grew older, Turner became more eccentric. He had few close friends except for his father, who lived with him for 30 years, eventually working as his studio assistant. His father's death in 1829 had a profound effect on him, and thereafter he was subject to bouts of depression. He never married, but had a relationship with an older widow, Sarah Danby. He is believed to have been the father of her two daughters born 1801 and 1811. He died in the house of his mistress. On December 19th of 1851, he is said to have uttered the last words, The Son is God, before expiring. At his request, he was buried in St. Paul's Cathedral, where he lies next to Sir Joshua Reynolds. His last exhibition at the Royal Academy, Academy was in 1850.